Hello and this is Jim back with the Doro smartphone and we're going to go through a quick setup. So up on top here you will select your languages and we have English, English United Kingdom, United States and so on and wherever you happen to may be you'll have your own language there so we'll pick English Ireland. So we're going to skip the SIM card for now and it will start giving us information. Is this your first time using a smartphone? You have a choice. So you have, yes, I'm a beginner, or no, I have already used one. So from here, it's going to depend per person. So we'll take it from a beginner's point of view. So have you already tried to scroll up and down on the touch screen? Again, this option will vary, so we'll just go no with that, just to see. Put your finger on the screen and slide up towards in order to see the context of the screen. So it'll just give you a little basic tutorial there. Swiping. It's also possible to browse content by swiping left or right. So pretty self-explanatory. So now they're going to configure your phone so you can change the options layer in the set action. So as I explained earlier on you have the back keys here on this side here, which is this one, you have a display size. So you can adjust display. You can adjust the display size below, so it's going for you to read. And we have a slider there, like so. So everybody's different. So we'll just basically enlarge the text. So we'll just go where it's fine. So our text size is now. We're now moving on to volume. So you'll have to put your phone to your ear and let you know how it's good. Again, everyone's hearing is different, so we're going to have to pick it up. And it's going to play a tune. So, sounds fine. So the in-call volume is set to 4, so you can obviously change that from the ringtone settings here, on whatever the case is. So moving on to basic settings. So you have what you want to set up. You have accessibility, you have access, accessibility parameters and set up internet access. So we will um, <clears throat> do that and we'll set the internet up again later when we have it set up properly. So you can set colorblind, colorblind parameters. You can set one of the following filters in order to get a better display. So we will just tick OK on that. We need to take a look at our terms and conditions as usual. And we'll just scroll. It's the usual malarkey you get when you get a phone. And accept. So Google has a few questions. So we're going to have to put in my information now and go from there, then we can check out what is on the phone. So moving on from that, you'll get an option here, I want to call a number or recent contact, you'll have call, view or send here on the bottom, so you go on to next, you want to view our messages, same thing, um, send a message, email, picture, a contact card and so on. And you can add shortcuts here from the menu by pressing plus. And more actions by swiping up on the arrow. So there we have add, search, snap, set, listen and discover. And want to access your applications, they're just below on the swipe up. So it'll bring up the uh, menu which is going to be something similar of a layout to what we're typical to see on a smartphone today. So we're brought into the typical menu here, Google and Camera, Play Store, View and Call and Send. So 
view will bring you up to your messages, emails, call history, picture, contacts, something on the internet, calendar, my alarms, the weather, location, applications, tools, and your phone information. Camera will open up the camera, obviously. So we'll just say yes. So in the camera, we're just going to check how good it is. And it just pops up there for now. So we're gonna we have a flash, and you have a selfie. So in the settings, we'll check out what quality that we have. So we've picked our size. So you have five and two megapixels, sixteen point nine. That's fine. Picture quality is low and high. Countdown timer two and ten seconds. Face detection on or off. Oh yeah, so you've auto from 100 up to 1600 and exposure minus 2 to plus 2 or you can store your location so the camera is just pretty basic so if I pop something in there I'm just going to take a quick snap and see in a bit of light and we'll check what that looks like there and not bad you know it's for who the phone is intended for it takes a decent picture and you can't really complain so into the settings <clears throat> so you have discover listen set snap add and search and you've got voice assistant so you've got your home screen your assistant your door or manager display option and general options so you've screen lock the language, applications, haptic feedback, an update for the system, screen time out, keyboard options, date and time, and advanced settings in there. What we have is our typical Android settings now. So we have a ring volume, our apps, so there's 43 apps installed on this. So there, just your basic apps, your assistant, calculator, calendar, Chrome, contacts, dock mode, a uh, couple of Doro apps there, your Drive, Geo, Email, File Manager, Files, Radio, Gallery, Gmail, Google, Settings, Internet, Magnifier, Maps, Messages, Music, Notes, Office, Quick Support, Recorder, then your General Settings, Timer, Torch and Weather. So, we have 280 kilobytes used of internal storage, and that's pretty much it there. And if we go into the main settings back here, we can see what permissions we have in the app settings. And if we go back down here, we go to sound, we go up to 53, I think we were set at last. Let's see how loud it is. So we'll pick some. So the speaker is actually loud enough, which is fine. But again, you can toggle through the settings here to um, suit your needs. So we go back into about, let's see what, um, last patch on this, uh, 7.1 February to 2018, so we're probably going to be due an update once we update the software and put the Wi-Fi on and so on. And that's what we're going to have to check, and that's when it was last updated, so we'll have to check that out. We have our typical drag down menu here. <clears throat> you have your mobile data, Bluetooth, Torch, and Airplane mode, which you can edit. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can pick these and drag them up or down, whichever suits you best or whatever that you're going to need. And that's pretty straightforward there. So that's really just a quick, brief setup of the Doro. So stay tuned for more. 
and they'll take some videos and pictures and so on and see what it's like in the real world but this is how simplified that it is at the moment so you have your full google menu there which is nice and you can tap this i want to here add an application shortcut rename or delete so it's pretty simple to use and pretty simple to set up and everything is all blocky so i'm just going to try something there now and now we'll go back just too fast with my fingers and no it doesn't work so what we'll do is we'll test it some more and we'll get back to you and see what we think of it and if you have any questions feel free to ask stay tuned